Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too Alright guys, so I want to talk about shimming your differentials And using aluminum diff cups instead of the factory plastic diff cup um, before we get started, let me give you some part numbers here. This whole pile of parts, everything here, this cup, these out drives, the input gear. Um, it's a brand new set of gears and pins and shims, O-rings, uh, gasket, and another stock uh, front or rear differential gear. That is part number AR220041. All right, so you buy that and you get all these parts. And then um, it's good to have a lot of O-rings on hand. So whenever you do your differentials, you can inspect them. Make sure if they're ripping or wearing out, you have more available to pop it in because there's nothing worse than putting a differential together and having it leak and have a, a bunch of dirt being stuck to your car. So the main purpose of this video today it's to explain, um, you know, not really the, it's really a warning or a caution for using aluminum cups. So here's, let's start with the factory cup. Here's an Arma cup, it's plastic. It has a metal insert down in there. And what happens is, uh, you know, there's, this goes in there and you put your O-ring down and then there's a metal pin. So this metal pin is hardened steel trying to get a picture of it here you know these pins are hardened steel they go in this hole and there's nothing in between that metal pin and this o-ring so you've got a metal pin spinning on this o-ring constantly warping it and wearing it out so that's that's a really bad design that Arma has and the solution is to use a Mugen Psyche diff shim kit and you get these big shims right here you put your o-ring in your cup and you put the shim down and then you put your pin in now this this metal washer is now protecting the o-ring from the moving pin and makes it last longer so now these are GPM cups I installed this GPM cup following the ARMA instructions and you can see in the middle there the pin ate through the aluminum and it uh, warped it, it tore up the o-ring so this cup is completely trash and I kind of knew better I felt wrong about it uh, putting that in there on an aluminum cup with a steel pin and sure enough as soon as I ran the vehicle um, I noticed the leak and this was my center differential um, I tried putting the Mugen shim after the fact and because it was already warped it just warped the Mugen shim and broke the o-ring and it just you know it just constantly failed over and over this is the GPM cup that's always had a Mugen shim in it from the very beginning and you can see there is no damage to the aluminum you can kinda of see where the washer has, uh, has been installed and maybe moved a bit the big washer but that washer has done its job protected the aluminum and the o-ring so I haven't had to replace my o-rings as, as often with this shim protecting the o-ring so if you're gonna run an aluminum diff cup whether it's hot racing or GPM I think it's really advised that you use a Mugen Psyche shim to protect the o-ring from the hardened pin now I spoke to somebody today who swears that he has the hot racing cups with no Mugen shims and he hasn't had an issue yet. Um, I think that's just a matter of time because it's just, I mean this is aluminum so it is what it is. It's aluminum versus hardened steel. The steel is going to win. Um, now the GPM cup didn't survive one trip and I know for a fact the GPM stuff isn't necessarily as hard. Um, I don't know if this is 7075, maybe it is, but either way, I would use the shims on any kind of aluminum cup, even a plastic cup, any, it doesn't matter what it is, I would run, run the shim to protect the O-ring. So that's my bit on that. Alright, so I want to show you the shims that you can use 
on the outside of the differential to tighten up the diff case in general. These are 13 by 16 um, shims. I got 0.2. I got these Kyosho 0.15s. And then these Protec 0.1s. These, um, where is my example o ring? Alright, so these 13 uh, by 16 shims are these, like so, and when you do your drive cup and you put your differential completely together, the shim goes on it like so, and you can use a combination of these to tighten up the uh, differential housing. Um, let me see, I've actually got, this is actually from a Mugen. But I think it's the same size. So yeah, here you go. Once your differential is together, you put a combination of these to make your differential housing tighter. Uh, well, this is a spur gear. Pretend it's not. Pretend it's one of these. But either way, um, you use a combination of 13 by 16 to tighten it that way. Now, inside that differential kit I showed you comes a brand new crown gear, which is nice to have. Um, so. For the crown gear, I use these 8x12 shims. 8x12x1, 8x12x2, there. And uh, so that shim, that looks like this. So you apply them like so. You know, try one at a time. Uh, well, actually, I like to try to use two so that the shims have something to work off of, have two different shims to push against. But you apply it like so, and then you put this in your differential case, and then uh, attach attach that in, and then you want to test your differential motion for notchiness. So that's how you use the 8x12 shims. I just showed you how to use the 13x16 shims. I'll put links and everything, and then I'll give you a link to the Mugen Psyche shims, which are these nice, big, thick, not really thick, but higher quality shims and what comes with the Arma stuff. Uh, and when I build my differential, what I do is I put the out drive in, I put the washer in, I, uh, no, I put the O-ring in, and then I put my washer on top, do the locking pin, and then I put the big uh, sun gear, put that down, and then what I do is, because the differential fluid that I used for bashing was very thick, like this 500K is super thick, it doesn't just squeeze out. It's got this gigantic opening and you really have to work to get it out when it's not a brand new bottle. When it's a brand new bottle, you can just squeeze it like toothpaste. But either way, so you put your big sun gear in there and I fill the cup about halfway before I do anything else. So it gives, it, let, it makes sure the fluid gets all the way to the bottom. And then I start putting my cross pins in and my smaller gears in. And then what I actually do, once I have all those cross pins and small gears in, uh, using one Mugen shim behind each small gear, I actually take the second sun gear and I put it in there as well. Now, depending on how much you put in there, usually it's about just enough. So you push down the, the smaller gears, you push down the big gear, and then you've got everything that's displacing fluid in the cup. So you can push that gear down and turn it a bit and um, work it and get all the excess fluid out of it. And also, it's good to let it sit for a few minutes at least. Even though it's thick, it will settle down. And then you put it back together. You leave this, leave the big sun gear on top, and you still, you just put your, your spur gear, or whatever you're doing, it goes right on top of it either way. It doesn't matter if the gear is on this side first, or if you put the gear in here first, it doesn't matter. You can still get it together. And that's how I do, uh, do the fluid displacement to try to get it the right level. Um, I think it's a super pain in the butt when you have all the gears in there and then you're trying to squeeze this thick stuff inside It's never ever gonna go down there without a fight and you probably get in there less than you think But if you pre-fill it and come up from the bottom You, you know you're displacing that fluid and uh, you know it's starting from the bottom So what I like to use for bashing is this 500k in the middle and then I was using 80k front and rear and that's just my preference for like on the beach 
I, I just wanted the car not to balloon much. I wanted all four to, corners to sort of be mostly locked. So when I'm hitting throttle, I'm not pulling wheelies and just blowing the front tires um, and, and the balloons. With the 80, 500, 80 combination, you do pull up off the front ground a bit, but a lot of a lot of power goes back to the rear, and you can you can keep it going pretty good um, faster, and that's what I enjoy doing. So if you don't want it that thick, or actually if you want it even thicker, uh, I've tried this one million in the middle, and personally I don't see the benefit versus the effort it takes to get this stuff in the diff case. This stuff is so thick. Uh, but then you've got 10K, 15K, 7K, and 5K. So you could try 10K in the front, 10 in the middle, and like 5 in the rear if you wanted some, some control, if you actually want to drive. But I found with 6S power, it works better to kind of lock the dips up with this thick stuff. And I believe it works out better in the long run uh, with 6S. So that's my bid on differentials. I'm not actually going to build one right now. I don't have a, a reason to. But I just wanted to warn you about the aluminum cups. It would certainly suck to buy these expensive things, run them, and end up with this. So I certainly wasn't happy. This, this thing is totally trashed, no good. So you have to use the big shims to protect your aluminum cup. And I would do it to protect your O-ring even on the factory stuff. And that's my opinion there. So have a good day, guys. If you have any questions, put comments below. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and most importantly, comment below. Uh, please let me know if the videos helped you, what you would like to see in the next videos, and if there's anything we can do to make the quality of the videos better for you, that would be great. Um, if you're a vendor and you'd like to send me something to review, uh, product review, or would like to sponsor me for racing, uh, my email is just down here. Send me an email, we'll work it out. Um, other than that, collab on, guys.